Hey, thanks for checking out the video and I hope you're having a nice day. Today we are going to take a look at a small but very capable thrower from Workos. This is a TS-11 and if you like tiny flashlights that are able to illuminate at great distance, this is going to be one to check out for sure. Just look at the packaging it comes in, really nice box. Um, there's an outer sleeve and then an inner box with a magnetic flap. But as you can see, 616 meters of throw from a light that's just about as the size of this graphic here when we get it open. Um, nice little jacket pocket light here. People refer to these as because a little bit wide to carry in the pocket because of the wider head, but very easy to carry in a jacket pocket for sure. Here's a look at the model number and LED information, color temperature, very cool white, good for throwing. And here's a look at some runtime, lumen and candela specs on the back. If you're interested in any of that in various modes, the light is IP68 waterproof and drop safe to one meter as well. And yeah, let's get this outer sleeve off of the box so you can see the light itself. So yeah, magnetic flap on this side. Nice packaging for sure. The light itself is nestled in a bit of uh, foam. And yeah, let's take a look at the TS-11. Now this is an official, this is not an official unboxing. I've gotten this out and tried it and tested it a little bit already. And here is the TS-11 itself. So I'm gonna move the camera just a bit here. But yeah, um, Anodization looks good. I have scuffed this a little bit myself. It did not come like that from the factory. It was looking perfect when I got it. Um, the threading is well lubricated and squared off, which is really good on this flashlight. Just look at the tail cap. It is not magnetic, but for a thrower, you probably wouldn't want that anyways. The included 18350 has a nominal voltage of 3.7 and 1100 milliamp hours of capacity. All right, and here's a look at the large rubberized switch of the TS-11. Very nice and easy to find. The light kind of index as well, just forefinger up against the head here, thumb on the switch, just feels really natural, comfortable to use this thing, um, even though it is a little bit shorter of a flashlight. But yeah, there is a gap or a space around the switch itself that borders it, which comes into play later. Um, but before we get to that, I wanted to show you the USB-C port as well. Charges USB-C, a lot of people Love that, it is a standardized way to charge things and is becoming more popular. So USB-C for the win, nothing proprietary about the light itself, can take any other um, 18350s and um, charge USB-C. So it's good to see. Just look at that TIR optic lens as well, the face of it, you know, super focused, um, which gives you a very pinpointed hotspot. We'll check out the beam profile of the TS-11 on a blank wall right after this overview I'm giving now. And then we'll take it outside to see how far away we can hit things and illuminate with this thing. But um, that brings us to the user interface. And I'll just start with the basics. Um, if you know modern flashlights, you're gonna find this familiar to use when you pick it up immediately. Holding down the switch for about a second and a half um, will get you into a moonlight mode. Um, holding the switch down ramps up the output. If you stop, your output stops at that level. You can just keep going and so on. Double click brings you into turbo. Um, but yeah, holding it ramps you back down etc etc but um, one of the coolest things about this light um, it's got Android 2.0 built in so if you're not familiar with that it is a way that you can kind of click and program this light you can set up the modes to be um, how you like them here's a look at the manual um, you can pause and read this I guess if you if you like Manual's pretty basic up until you get to <laughs> this. This is the schematic for Android 2.0. And I get a headache when I see this thing. Um, I'm intimidated by it. I think I just look at it all at once, but I've been told it's really not bad and I'm gonna learn this eventually. But basically it's like a map. You just click your way through to get where you want and you can get to a variety of different modes and um, sequences, set this up how you like it. One thing I have played around with though is um, that gap around the switch I mentioned. This TS-11 has built-in RGBs just for extra personality. I'm gonna turn this little overhead light off so you can see them. But if you click the switch seven times rapidly, you're gonna get a little bit of personality here. So, you know, behind the switch, there's some RGBs that just kind of blink. They're also visible from the head as well. So when you're not using this, if it's just on a shelf or on display or something, and you want a little bit of liveliness, a little bit of personality you can do that with the ts11 
And um, if you want, you know, even more, you can just keep clicking seven times and you're gonna cycle through a variety of different cadences with this light that just give you this cool effect. So pretty interesting to have this built in. In my mind, it's just kind of a bonus. And if you don't like it, you can easily just turn it off. But yeah, that's a basic overview of this flashlight. Let's check out the beam profile. We are just a few feet away from a blank wall to check out the beam profile, the TS-11. And as you'd expect, it is very precise. All of the light is directed in a central hotspot for the most part. There's a little bit of bleed, a little bit of spill on the border of it, but most of that light is just right in the center. Found a nice field with a tree line at the edge to check out the throw of the TS-11. And yeah, we're gonna start on some low levels of output and I do just have this in its ramped user interface right now. But as you can see, um, here's a near tree line, just to get an idea. I really like how you can just kind of tailor the level of output to your needs as you go with this. Um, I like that quite a bit. It'd be pretty quick in the step user interface to get kind of what you're looking for as well. Let's see how far we can stretch this thing out. So this is turbo, max output 2000 lumens, and all of that output is essentially going in one space. So yeah, the hotspot does get larger the farther out you go, but you're very clearly able to make out a silhouette of various trees at the edge of the field. I took this footage when it was still fall, so it's kind of cool to see different colors out there. That is a look at the output of the TS-11. As far as the user interface of the TS-11 goes, we've kind of been over the basics a little bit earlier in the video. But there were two more things I wanted to show you about that I think are good to know about. Um, first thing I'll say though, before getting into those two things, is that the TS-11 comes from the factory right out of the box in a simple UI. Now you can get into the more advanced UI by clicking the switch 10 times. But in simple UI, there's a couple things I wanted to show you that are good to know about in my opinion. First of which is that, you know, if you prefer this gradual ramp up and down in output, you can switch between that and a stepped, you know, incremental well-defined modes output by triple clicking the switch when the flashlight's on. So by triple clicking the switch, you saw a little bit of blip there in output maybe. Uh, I don't know if it showed up on camera, but yeah, a little blip in output letting you know you've now just stepped from the ramped UI into the stepped UI. So you just work your way down in you know, well-defined mode. So if you prefer that over ramped, you can easily switch between the two by triple clicking the switch when the flashlight's on. Another thing I wanted to show you about is that you can lock out the TS-11 with four rapid clicks of the switch. So now, um, you know, you do get the accent lights to let you know that the battery's not dead, but that you, the light is locked out. So you're not gonna be able to turn it on unless you click rapidly four times to unlock it. So yeah, pretty good to know about those things in my opinion. But aside from that, um, 10 clicks of the switch will bring you into the advanced UI and you can have all kinds of fun with Android 2 from there as well. And yeah, another cool thing is you also get the battery status um, based on color of your light. So it'll tell you the voltage of the battery based on color if you like. So that's really cool as well. Uh, interesting way to go about that. So I hope this video has given you a good look at the TS-11 from Workos, a very tiny, but very capable thrower with a little extra pizzazz, a little extra personality with these accent LEDs. Very interesting flashlight, um, you know, super tiny, but yet able to shine light really far away. So if you want something in a jacket pocket when you're walking your dog or something like that, and you want to see well down the path or down the block, this can get that job done for you for sure. Um, as far as other applications, you know, it's kind of limited by the smaller battery as far as its runtime goes. However, the thread pitch is pretty standardized. I threw an 18650 battery tube I had from another flashlight on this thing and it worked. This one's from Cellfern. Um, but yeah, I think TS, I think, um, in fact, I'm positive Workos sells those extension tubes as well. If you want to add a little bit of runtime and length to this flashlight, you can do that. But yeah, I really like the accent lighting. I like how they've done that with the switch, these rings around, it's really cool looking. And then also from the head too. I like that you can shut that off though, so it doesn't automatically drain your battery down if you don't want it to. But yeah, great little light here. Um, cool little thrower and Workos is generally very good about value as well. I think the value proposition on this is pretty high. 
if you're in the market for a small pocketable, you know, jacket pocket thrower, if you want to see down the block or down the trail when you walk in or hiking or anything like that, this could get the job done for you as well. So anyway, if you have any other questions about this flashlight, put them in the comments down below for me. I try to get to those quickly. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day. God bless you, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.